What's up guys? Uh, back with another of those Black Rock and Beats. Um, so right here we're continuing on with our theme of quarantine flat design with some added detail to it. Yesterday we did a Switch uh, design, so today we're working on an Xbox One controller or Xbox controller. I got one of those for my PC whenever I'm playing Stardew Valley or you know Shadow of Mordor or whatever it is I've got on my Steam account. Anyways, um, this right here, uh, let's just kind of show you what I got going on here. This was uh, based off of a simplified design of the Xbox controller. You can kind of see we've got this weird shape here. We're trying to make it as symmetrical as possible. We've got a couple different layers. We've got our mid-tones, we've got our shadows, we've got some highlights here there too, as long as, uh, as well as, you know, we've got like four levels of light here. Uh, we're missing some of the shadows for the buttons, but we'll see if we can add this on with this uh, version right here. So let's get right into it. Click. Oh wait, no. Here we go. Yeah, let's get right into it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is the um, uh, graphic design project that I had uh, going on before. I'm just going to make sure I have this saved. I'm going to have to like, restart this because it might crash on me because it's pretty big right now. Anyways, um, I'm going to get in close just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, all right, so I want to say for this little design here, what I did was I created a rectangle. I actually created a series of rectangles to sort of use as a reference. So I'll just make this rectangle here. If you, get, if you don't get the proportions exactly right, it's not a big deal. We're just trying to go for a general shape here. Uh, and so long as we can fit everything in. Uh, obviously, right here, when I shrunk this down, a bunch of strokes went out of proportion. But we'll see if we can't work on getting this consistent. Anyways, I'm going to go here to make a new rectangle at the top. I'll just make this new rectangle here. Then we can do the rectangle down here as well. And what we'll do is we'll, no, wait, no, we'll make another rectangle. There you go. Cool. Neat. And I'm going to select all this stuff, make sure it's centered. And I'm going to go over here to Modify Path, Convert to Path. And that way what I can do here is I can get D on the keyboard to get my sub select or direct select, as we call it in Illustrator, and just link these little corners up here. Click one at a time and link these corners up to here. And what I'll do is I'll hold down shift and make sure only these two nodes, these two corners are selected. And I'm going to grab my, my corner tool over here on the, on the side. I'm just going to pull that up to where they curve down some. I'm going to make this a little bit darker gray. Uh, yeah, a little darker. Yeah, not that dark. That's dark. That's good. All right, cool. Um, what I'll do down here is I'll click on this main shape again, and I'll hit my P for key, uh, pen, and I'm just going to click right here and right here, just to kind of create a new node for these guys. And then I'm going to click over here to this one. And I'm going to get my corner up. Well, I'll do the same thing for both. I'll hold on the shift and get a corner up for both. And then what I'll do is I'm going to grab this little node here and just drag it up a little bit. And I'm going to see if I can get that sort of more curvy. Because I want there to be more of like a rounded ergonomic grip for the palm. It's going to but this, this anchor point we made down here is going to constrain the corner into allowing it to um, just be a little bit, a little bit more, um, you know, uh, less extreme here. I'm actually going to real quick hit uh, this, this one right here, hit V on the keyboard, hit my move tool, alt drag this in some, and then click back on here and see if I can get D, for D on the keyboard just to drag this in some as well to make this a little bit more... Okay, round it. That's good. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I'm just going to um, say, for instance, click on this and control D on the keyboard, V on the keyboard to get the my move tool, alt drag it in to create the sort of um, inner workings here. So I'll make this a good deal more narrow, a good deal more um, light here. I'll make this into a different shade so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll click right here, D on the keyboard to get my direct select tool, and then I'm just going to drag this corner in like so. You can hold down shift while you drag it like that. And then I'll just get rid of this. And we'll just click on this and hold down shift, grab this. Make sure they're centered. Make sure they are aligned at the bottom. And then what we can do here is we can just minus front retract. So that looks about right. Let me see if they, what happens if I add a stroke. Um, border six. OK, so there's a little bit too much there. So let me just real quick back this up until I can find Click off this, Control-Z a couple times here. Maybe just one more time. I'm going to align these to the bottom. And I might actually just make this a little bit longer down here. So my bottom. And I'm just going to click on this shape here and just extend it out slightly just so it will wholly get rid of all that. So yeah. That's good. And I'll click on this. Modify, path, convert to path, and then we'll add a stroke. Let's see what happens if we have a stroke. All right, looks about good. Cool, awesome. And we're missing that little mystery line there. That's fantastic. All right, great. I like this. I might shrink down some. 
Okay, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Alright, neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I deal with the keyboard? Can I get these up some? I'm gonna cut down these. I'm just drag these up a little bit. Alright, that's better. Yeah. Alright, neat. Fun. Cool. Awesome. Um, Anyways, great, cool, moving on. Um, let's create the little shadows uh, here. I'll just click on this, uh, click on the pen tool here, and just drag a little swoop shape like this. Let's see if I can't get this whole thing going here. And I'll just V on the keyboard, just like this. Actually, what I'll do is I'll click on this, Control D, Control Shift Up, and then hold down Shift, grab this guy down here, and I'll just go to Intersect, which will then allow me to make this a little bit darker. And remove the border. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. I'll just get pen, uh, pee on the keyboard for my pen tool, drag this up, create a little shadowy area here, V on the keyboard, click on the main shape, Control D, Control Shift up, hold down Shift, grab this, go to my shape builder tools. Oh no. Again, Control D, Control Shift up, click on this, and intersect. And that will allow us to click on that. And what we'll do is we'll just zero the keyboard and make sure we don't have two of these shapes. It's good. And I'll just make sure that the stroke for my main shape is set to the outside by hitting this advanced stroke settings and hit outside there. And I like that. I might make this stroke just a little bit bigger, um, maybe 10 or so. And then what we'll do is we'll add our little triggers on the top just because that's going to be on the bottom here. Um, and we'll just use the pen tool for that. We'll freehand that. So I'll just click once twice. Actually, what I'll do is I'll start here. I'll start this corner and go down this way, up, and just sort of shrink that down some. And I'll make this 10, and I'll make this gray, maybe a darker gray, that's fine. And we'll just, yeah, we'll just drag this down in the corner, control shift down, um, control D, drag it over here, right click on it, transform, flip horizontal, Drag this over here. Hold down Shift, grab these two, make sure they're centered horizontally. Control G to group them, and then just make sure they are centered with your controller. Good stuff. All right, fun. All right, like that. All right, so if you want to make those uh, look a little more, you know, exact, that's uh, fantastic. I'm satisfied with this right here. Um, okay, so let's uh, get busy on the buttons here. So I'm just going to select everything here, just double check that I got everything made into a path. 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 Okay, cool. Good. Um, all right, I'll get rid of this. Uh, all right, neat. Um, last thing I think I did was I think I added a little highlight here or there. So we get a little ellipse uh, going on. I'll just sort of draw a little ellipse like this. And uh, let's make, a, make put a little shine on the corners because it's rounded. So we know that there's a bit of a sort of a concavity here. And I'll make this um, make a lighter gray, but not too light. That's good. And I'll just drag this over here. Alt drag it. And just. Turn around, and I'll shrink it down a little bit because this is obviously less light is getting this way, so we'll make it smaller. Okay, and pop this right over there. Very neat. All right, cool. All right, so we got that going on. All right, looks good so far. Um, all right, neat. So let's um, let's start with the um, simplest thing. Let's start with the joystick here. So we'll go over this way, and I'll just uh, grab my joystick by just making a circle, and I'll make it. Um, I'll make it a little bit darker than the uh, Xbox itself. And I'll just um, control D. So I've got two of these, right? And I'll just uh, control D one more time and just drag Alt, or just rather drag this up some, and then hold down Shift and we'll subtract. And then I'll just change this to maybe a highlight here. Like so. That's good. And I'll just make this uh, outer circle here have a stroke. I'll make the stroke, say, for instance, five for now, because it's going to get uh, bigger, maybe six. Because uh, it's going to get bigger once we shrink it down some. And uh, what we'll do here is just make sure this is set to be on the outside. The border will be on the outside like this. And we'll just control D that, control shift down, and shift and alt and extend it outwards. So we have this uh, joystick um, sort of seat right there and uh, we'll do the same thing we did before we'll just grab our pen tool here and we'll make a little path that sort of swoops out like this and we'll make it a little bit darker 
and we'll just be on the keyboard, control D, control shift up, hold down shift, grab this guy, intersect, and then we'll take away the borders, and control shift down, control up. There we go, we have this little shadow kind of going on there, that's neat. Um, all right, so we'll just control G and group that together and just alt drag it down. I need a little bit more, and we'll put one right here, and I'll drag it down a little more. See, so that, that small, it will center it over the corner there, and then alt drag this over this way as well. All right, neat, cool, fun, all right, I like that. Um, all right, it's looking good so far. A little bit different color scheme, that's okay. Um, all right, let's make the little Xbox logo here, so we'll just, um, circle and we'll um, grab our pen tool here and we'll just create a little swoop like so and then alt drag around our handle before we let go of our pen and then we'll just click here and we'll make this black like the rest of our strokes or very dark gray and we'll just Right click on this. Well, actually, first off, what we'll do is we'll control D, duplicate it. Then um, what we'll do is we'll transform and flip it horizontally. And what we'll do is just select both of these guys and we'll unify them. And then from here, what we can do is we can just sort of shrink these together. And I want to say we want to like make it a little bit longer. And that way, what we can do now, um, okay, so I know if there's probably some sort of like distinct brand guideline when it comes to precisely what, what um, you know, radius your X has to be, but I think this is fine. I think it's right. Oops. Okay. All so we'll just control D, control shift up, hold down shift, grab the X, and then we'll intersect. And that way we have, we have this here, and then we'll just add in a stroke and once again, we'll make it about six or so. And so now, when we shrink this, uh, we'll control G this, and when we shrink this down, we'll have that. Actually, before we do anything else, let me just real fast, I'm gonna back it up before I grouped it, and just grab onto this circle here, control D, um, and then we'll take the borders away, and we'll make it white, and then we'll just alt drag this over here and then hold down shift and we'll just subtract this and we'll just take this and this little crescent moon shape control shift up and we'll make the opacity like 20 or so or maybe 50 so you can kind of see there's, there's a little bit of a shine on that and we'll grab this make sure that the um, border is set to be on the outside once again we'll grab all that con control and G and we'll shrink it down a good deal a little more and we'll drag it right to the center here. Okay, I like that, that's good. All right, I think that's, that's looking good so far, maybe a little bit smaller. I'm looking at my controller over here as well. So there's always something to be said about like, say, basing your drawing, sorry, I had to hit the microphone there. Always something to be said about uh, basing your drawing off of what's real life, not basing your drawing of a drawing of the real life thing. Because sometimes what happens is you simplify what's being already simplified, and then eventually it becomes unrecognizable. So it's like a copy of a copy almost, you know. Obviously there are some exceptions. Um, all right, let's make these little start select, because once again I'm old, so my idea of these little buttons down here is start select. So let's just uh, grab this and we'll just, um, Grab a circle here, and we'll just make two dark circles with a black stroke. Six. And I'll just shrink that down even more. Okay. Very good. Neat. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll create a little directional pad, the, the D-pad here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll um, create a little grid of squares. So I'm going to go over this way. And I'm going to create a little grid of squares. So we'll start off with a rectangle and we'll just make a little square. And then what we'll do is we'll just alt drag it, hold down shift, and it should snap to the end there. I'm going to control D that. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag all these up, alt drag and hold down shift until it snaps to the top. And then alt D, uh, control D there. And what we can do is one by one, just hold, hold down shift and grab. Actually, what we'll do is just grab these guys on the, the actual pad here, and we'll make them slightly darker. 
than everything else. All right, there you go, that's good. And then what we can do is we can um, make a circle. Ellipse, hold on. Shift while we snap into the corner here, make a circle. And what we'll do here, we'll make this red, just so we can tell where it is. And I'm gonna click on this Control-D a couple times, like uh, once, twice, three times, four times. So I've, I've got five copies of this thing sitting here. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just hold down Shift and grab one of the uh, circles and we'll just intersect, or one of the little corner uh, the squares, hold down Shift, click on this, intersect, hold down, click on this, hold down Shift, grab this, intersect, whoops, yeah, click on the red, hold down Shift, and enter. Okay, cool. And then what we can do here is we can see that this right here is the, this is the um, circle. I can actually um, uh, just uh, hold, make this go to the very top. And what I'll do first is I will um, control D and I'll make this green for now. And I'll just uh, alt drag this green circle over here. So I go up to the corner and just hold down shift, grab both green circles and then subtract. And then I'll just make this, for now, I'll make this white. And I'll make the opacity like 20% or so. And then I'll just click on this. I'm going to take this, the fill totally off on the red square. Let me just make this, I'll convert this to a path real quick. So I don't have to mess with that. Modify, path, convert to path. Control should be on the keyboard, right? And click on this. And we'll take away the, um, the, the fill and we'll add our stroke and we'll make our stroke once again like six which will allow us when we shrink it down to make it a good deal bigger at least proportion so that's good just okay, here's this make sure these are centered and we'll group this together Wait, oops. Oh, I didn't group that. No, that's fine. All right, that's okay. Cool. All right, fun. Um, all right, neat. So, um, whoops. All right. Uh, all right. So we got a little uh, second joystick. We got our little directional pad over here. Let's make our buttons. These are gonna be. This is gonna be a little bit tedious. So bear with me as we uh, make this. So we'll make this as as um, streamlined as possible. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create um, our circles. And uh, I'm gonna create the circle. I'll um, um, I'll make this one. Uh, red, and then I'll control D, and I'll make this one green, and I'll just alt drag this up, and I'll just get rid of the, make the little crescent uh, green, but I'll make it on the bottom here, so I'll just subtract, and so we'll have that there, and so what we'll do here is we'll click on the red, and we'll have the red um, have a stroke on it, so border, and once again we'll make this about six, so, and then what we'll do here is we'll um, go up to um, hmm. let's look here. Um, we'll go over here to our borders and we'll make sure they're on the outside. Okay, so with that done, now what we can do is this. We can um, uh, just take this and we'll just alt, actually what we'll do here first is we'll take this green and we'll make sure we modify it, make it to a path. So I convert to path. I'm gonna change it to white and I'll make the shadow like 20% or the uh, opacity rather and uh, there are no borders, all right, good, cool, this is good, fun. All right, so I'll just um, alt drag this over here until it snaps to its side, and then I'll just control D, and I'll grab this guy here, and I'll alt drag him up until he snaps to the top, and I'll drag this guy, once again, select both of this, make sure you're selecting both of them, hold down shift, drag it down, until it snaps to the bottom, and that way I can just take this out and now suddenly we've got our little four corners. Um, all right, so with Xbox we've got uh, X, Y, A, B. X is blue, so I'll change the fill here to a sort of a blue color. Like good. And then I'll just um, get my text tool here and I'll type the letter X. And I'll just um, go to modify, so I'll click on my move tool here and I'll go to modify path, convert to path, or control shift P on the keyboard, and just sort of pull this up, and I'll just put this on top of here, and then control and down until it goes below the white crescent, right, that's good, and I can kind of push 
this to the center there, it's good. Oh, okay, that's good. And then I'll just, um, once again, we have a text tool here, and I'll just take the letter Y, and I'll just change this. The Y is yellow, so or amber, and so I'll just click on this. I'll grab over here this sort of yellow color, like an orange color, like a light orange. Orange, but less red, so there we go. That's cool, right? More like a, a yellow ochre, right? So. Right, let's get this um, Y here, and we'll just go over here to modify, path, convert to path. Okay, try it again. Control shift P, and then we'll just right, drag that inside here, make it bigger. Control down. Okay, that's good. Make sure it's centered. So, right. And then we'll do A. And once again, modify path, convert to path, and just and we'll use the A button is green. We'll change this to green. That's about right. Okay, and then this right here, the B is this sort of reddish color. So we'll change, we'll click here, we'll type B, and we'll once again go to Control Shift and P to make this into a path. And we'll draw it out, pop it in. Make sure this is down. So there we go. And then we'll, uh, I don't think we'll, we'll leave that at red, but what we'll do is we'll just Maybe make it a little bit lighter, or less. There you go, that's good, cool. And uh, we'll just select everything here, Control G to make it into a group, and just hold down Shift and shrink it down. All right, that's looking good. And we'll just drag this here. Yeah, that looks good. Maybe a little bit smaller. Just a bit down some. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I think we'll call that done. That looks good. Um, all right, maybe we'll add a little bit of shadow here or there. Um, we could do that number here. Let me just real fast uh, go through and just grab uh, my circle tool, and I'll just make a little ellipse like so, and I'll just make it black, and I'll make the opacity 20, and I'll just hold down Control, and just Control Shift, and make it go up a little bit until it's below everything here. I'm holding down a control and up until I can see it. There we go. There it is. Right. There it is. Right. And I'll just uh, alt drag this over here and over here. Oh, no. And maybe make this a little bit dirty. There we go. Cool. Right. Neat. And we'll do the same thing for the buttons as well. Make a small. Um, Circle here, like so. Mm, here we go. One, two, three. Neat. All right, I like it. I like this a lot. All right, so the last thing you'll do is um, you'll do this little number here. What, what I did here with me is actually just go ahead and get rid of all this. Um, is you'll create a rectangle to go in the background here. So I'll just create this little rectangle. And what I'll do is I'll make the rectangle, like, say, for instance, well, I don't know, like green or blue or something. You can make it whatever color you like. And I'll just click this and I'll just make a little swoop. And what we did before, we'll click on this rectangle here, Control Shift Up. Actually, what we'll do, wait, undo that, Control D, Control Shift Up. And then click on this, intersect it, and then change the color here to white with a 20% opacity. And then I'll just give us this, Control G, down. So now we can sort of center this here. All right, fun. All right, so once again, just uh, go through and make sure there's nothing else here. And then um, what you'll do is, once again, file, export, oh no, file, export, JPEG. And it should be just 
A. Oh no, there's something else there. Okay, right, so th that was a mistake on my part. So just go over here and see what's up here. What is this? Huh, what is that? What is up there? Could it be? Okay, let me just select all this and say file, export, change image. Try this. Huh. That's curious. Um, okay, so there's bound to be something up there that I can't see. What is it? It's pretty high up, so I'll just keep... I wonder if it's like over this way somewhere. What if I did this, this control A? Okay, oh, oh, here... What is this? Huh. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. What I'll do is this. If you, for whatever reason, um, you, you got this right here, what you can do is I want to say whatever image that you've got going on here, um, like for instance, um, let me just try this one more time here. I'm going to go to file, export, file, export, JPEG, and uh, save it. And then when you open it up, whatever you open it up in, you should be able to edit, like, you should be able to crop. And if you can't crop, then you can find like a, a screenshot of some kind. You can crop it down that way. Um, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, turn what you got. If for whatever reason you have searched this and are unable to like get rid of the white space there, then I, you know just let me know. Um, but make sure that you're looking at what it is that you're turning in. Make sure you turn in something that you actually looked at and you actually considered what it is you're looking at. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. Can't wait to see you guys produce. I'll see y'all around. This is uh, it for the week. So yeah. Good luck.